Stupol is a hard world to be in. It can be quite toxic. Toxic and manipulative. A little bit toxic. <laughs> who is the most competitive, who is the most vicious, who is the most capable on campaign day? It's mentally draining. There definitely is a click. It can be a little bit clicky. We're very clicky. A little bit of cultiness to it, I suppose. And it just consumes your life. Just a lot of it's just personal. With the rivalry and the tension with the other team, it can get a bit nasty. Very cutthroat. Um, this is the nature of student politics. This is who you are as a person. What will you be if you leave this? I'm on the Connect ticket. I'm running under the Connect ticket as a, their presidential candidate. My ticket should win just because we are the more experienced ticket and I feel that we are the stronger ticket. I'm running under the Stand Up ticket um, and I'm running um, to be president of the UTS Students Association. I'm running with Stand Up and I'm running for the treasurer position. I think that we're the most experienced team for the job and that we actually have like a realistic plan to get things done. They've got members of extremist groups on their ticket. I don't want to see them have a platform to be able to do that sort of stuff. A ticket will be like forms, deals will be signed between factional groupings if they decide to run with each other, then nominations are filled in. The factionalism of the association is really like the crux of how it runs because the people who get these executive positions are voted in by a council and that's determined by like a deal of like who wants what, which is not really the best, most effective way to run an association. And there's a, there are the things that people will say just to get an upper hand. They don't really necessarily believe it, but the tension exists underneath all that. So they might say that, you know, you're a communist, but what they're really saying is, I don't like you and I want to win. It is the second of three days right now. We're in our third session of voting out of six. Very unpredictable. Pretty exciting. It's pretty, it's pretty even, pretty head to head. Pretty good, actually. Building five is nice today. Yeah. Um, well, not exactly nice, but I mean, building five seems comfortable today. Usually the last session of campaigning brings the drama. This is when students get desperate or campaigners get desperate. People say things that are horrible. Um, it's all about contesting now. So it's not about getting students over the line. It's about stopping students getting over the line. I felt very bombarded by information and no one was being clear. It's a bit harassing, but it's okay. They're friendly. This is the most intense I've ever seen at UTS. I have seen a few confrontations with, between all sides here uh, in this building. Like I said, that's still relatively nothing compared to some of the same thing, things that I've seen in previous years. I've seen students push downstairs. We've had a lot of racism happen to us, um, and which is hard because we, I have brought so many Indigenous students to this campaign. There's a lot of accusations. A lot of accusations, yeah. And it's a bit of a tactic as well to try and scare off voters. So um, we've been labelled... Um, like liberal scum, stuff like that. Yeah. Just like totally inaccurate. Right wing, very conservative. I think so as far as I know, we've been fairly well regulated. Look, I did have um, one candidate tell me not to vote for others because the rest of them were like C words. Yeah, I've been bullied quite a bit. Because what happens is they usually target people who they think is like the leader of the thing, leader of the campaign. And so they'll target Heber, they'll target me, they'll target Ryan and they send like the biggest bullies to those campaigners and make sure their life is a living hell. It just says they're willing to do anything to win. We do it for the votes. We do it for the votes. <laughs> you get 40 more when we get your vote. <laughs> now you know who to vote for. What, what happened? What happened to Building 11? I haven't been told anything. Holy shit! Yeah, okay, I need you to look after this place, yeah? Building yeah. 11 is um, so, Connect have been abusing us since day one, um, and now it's gone to the point where even the returning officer um, is reporting the abuse to university. Because um, I think a couple of our campaigners have broken down, um, and it's not the first time. I'm just so angry. Like, the thing is, this is not it's meant to be our caring about students, it's not fucking destroying them. Oh. It's been really tough. It's been really good, like, it's a really good experience, but I'm very, very tired. <laughs> over and ecstatic um, and really excited to see the results. Um. I'm really happy. Stupol is terrible but I'm really happy that it's 
are over and everyone is happy now and everything can go back to normal. <laughs> it's been a good experience but I just it's been intense as well and lots of student politics stuff is very nasty and I'm very happy to not be yeah super involved in that anymore. Yeah. I've lost my phone and my wallet. If I lose the election too, I might lose my mind as well. <laughs> 13 votes. That's oh. Sorry? What? You don't um, know. Where? Like, you really don't know until yes. the end. That's yes. the thing. Um, I'm just not letting myself feel anything until Christine actually pulls a result because you just don't know what's going to happen. People, people start thinking a bit too much and they start yeah, interpreting everything. a little too much and yeah it gets to the point where people are like oh well what if this means this or yeah, what if right. council's going to look like this next yeah. year and it doesn't help. You don't know the final results, you don't know what the outcome's going to be. So, okay, you... I need to this. Yeah, go, 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 go. Hey, you know, yeah. Where's Miss Andrea here? I'll tell you <laughs> <laughs> Max Murphy walked out. <laughs> <laughs> National Education Officer gave up on screen hearing. <laughs> they know they've lost. Whew. We won by 13. Four. Yeah. Okay, we're going. Five, five, two, let's go. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, someone please help me walk through okay. the traffic. Guys. Just leave your drugs inside. This is really important news, sorry. In what has been one of the most intense, rough elections that I have ever experienced, I have to say this. Yeah. Beatrice, you are the next president! <laughs> I'm a bit disappointed that we didn't win president, but at the end of the day, the left still won. And we fought the good fight, and we're happy with that. We haven't lost, because at the end of the day, if students win, then we, as a team, have won. We are fucking more united than ever. We have not lost this election, in my eyes. We have not lost. They may have won president, but it's only on the ground that they bullied and harassed students. At the end of the day, we won. One more comment? Yeah. <clears throat> Cause the left make the union strong. Everybody now. Solidarity forever. Solidarity.